Hi, Lloyd Reaper here to demonstrate my QSort app. You might already be wondering what exactly is a QSort? Well, a QSort is a very special sorting activity and is part of the Q methodology begun in the 1930s by Dr. William Stevenson. A QSort is designed to reveal one's subjectivity about a topic. It also reveals different perspectives about a topic among a group of people. QSorts are commonly conducted on paper, but this is a digital QSort experience. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick introduction on how to use my free QSort app. To get my desktop app, just go to NowhereRoad.com slash QSort and download either the Macintosh or Windows version. To begin a QSort, launch the app and enter the QSort code. Your instructor or group leader will give you the code you need. There are also codes to some practice QSorts on my website. For this demonstration, I'm going to do a QSort on the topic of ice cream. So I enter the code, which is simply ice cream with no spaces. And it does a search and finds that I have not yet completed this QSort. So let me go ahead and begin. And it says to enter my full name first and last. And this is going to be private. Only your instructor or group leader will see this. Next, enter your name or some other identifier for yourself for this QSort. This will be made public. For most uh, groups, uh, I suggest entering your first name and last initial, but you can enter whatever uh, is appropriate for your particular situation. And that brings up the QSort activity. And you can see the directions uh, up there on the screen. And so we're going to be uh, rating each of these statements, which happen to be flavors of ice cream, by dragging each one to one of the rating slots on the left. And only one statement can be placed in each rating slot. And you will see that there are exactly as many rating slots as there are statements. Then I click Submit when done. Uh, but it says you might also find it helpful to first drag statements into three general piles in the sandbox, high, low, and neutral. Now, this is a fun and pretty simple Q sort. It's pretty easy to uh, see at a glance what the, what the flavors are. And it might be tempting to just to go ahead and begin to bring these in to the different slots on the left. But as key sorts get more and more complicated with more statements and depending on the topic, uh, you're going to find that this activity of grouping them into, into high neutral and low groups is really a good idea. So I'm going to start by doing that. Also, you might say, boy, that text is rather small. Uh, can I make that larger? And the answer is yes. So I can uh, turn up the text size up here in the corner. Now there's a limit to that, of course. And if this, if these were longer statements, that would close uh, fill up the screen pretty quickly. So you can also turn on magnifying tool. And as I mouse over, you'll see that each one is going to uh, enlarge quite a bit. I'm going to turn the magnifying tool off. So it's highly recommended that you simply start with the very first statement and drag it into either the high, neutral, or low category. And really just use your, your own uh, gut reaction to what you think about that. You can always uh, change this later and resort it as you wish. So I'm going to very quickly do this and I'll speed things up here. Uh, I'm definitely a chocoholic. You can see a lot of chocolate in the, in the high category. So let me just do this very quickly. As you can see, each statement doesn't fit uh, up there in the sandbox. So a placeholder of just the statement number is shown. But as I mouse over, this is automatic, you will see the statement actually show up. Now, with, when there's a lot of statements, you might find it very convenient to also know that you can view the statements in a separate window to, kind of, to uh, see the number of the statements as well. You can, you can make that larger. You can also copy those statements to the clipboard. So perhaps you want to paste that into a Word document for uh, uh, also for easy referral. And as I'm looking at the ice cream flavors that I put in the high category, you can see that uh, I kind of favor things on the left as I work my way down. And this is just for convenience. Maybe I want to move things around. In fact, I do like strawberry quite a bit. Now, an interesting thing about a Q sort is you can like 
all ice cream flavors. In fact, I would eat any of these, even though I put at the very bottom of my preference so far pistachio and mint chocolate, uh, I would gladly eat those. So this is a very different kind of rating. It's not that I'm giving, you know, uh, like on a typical rating scale from, from one to five, all of them fours or fives or, or neutral. And it doesn't mean that there's any that, that are ones that I really don't like. So, but it's showing me my preferences. It's showing me that even though I like all the flavors of ice cream, I do have preferences. And that's what's being revealed in this QSort activity. Now comes the challenging part of the QSort. I need to now populate every single one of these uh, rating slots with my choices. But the sandbox really helps me out. So I'm going to start with this high category here. And you can see these arrows uh, magically appeared after I brought all of the ice cream flavors into the sandbox. What it's going to do is take all of these flavors, starting with fudge brownie down to Rocky Road, and bring those here for me to take another look at. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll turn up the text size a little bit. So this was my general preference at first. And you know what? I really like strawberry the best. So I'm going to put that as one of my two most favorite. And I will now bring the others in pretty much the way I have them here. But as you can see, I now have to make a choice between this plus two and the plus one. But I'm pretty happy with that. Let me now go to, uh, actually, I'm going to go to the low uh, category next. Bring those down. And uh, it's it's easier for me to, to go from high and then immediately to low. You can do it, do it any way you want to. And yeah, uh, pistachio, I don't like mint in general. So I'm going to bring these in pretty much the way they are here. Now, of course, that leaves me with the neutral. And I'll bring those down in the, ca in the order from caramel swirl down to raspberry dribble. And they all sound pretty good. I'm kind of neutral. Uh, they're not my most favorite, but they're certainly not my least favorite. So I will start bringing these in. And, and of course, you might take a great deal of time to do this. I'm doing it very quick, quickly for the demonstration. And as I bring in the very last one, you'll notice that the submit button lights up. I can now submit these when ready. Of course, I want to be careful and I can make any changes that I want here. I'm still kind of debating what should be my most favorite and also my least favorite. And, uh, you know, I really think uh, I prefer chocolate chip over fudge brownie. It's also important to note that uh, these statements on this row all have the same value. It does not matter which of these three slots I use. Same thing with the, the very top most favorite row. It does not matter if I'm in the left or the right. Both get the very same value. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go ahead now and submit these responses. I click the submit button and it says, are you sure? If you proceed, you will not be able to make any changes. So I could cancel and go back and do some more sorting, but I think I'm ready. Let me, let me go ahead and proceed. And next it says, please take a moment to review the statements you place at either end of the rating scale. You will be asked to explain your thinking about them. And I will tell you, you can get back to your responses later on, but it's now is a good time to kind of take a look and just kind of review for yourself you know, what, uh, let me move this out of the way here, what were my top choices, what were my bottom choices, and, and why that is. All right, I think I'm done reviewing, so let's move on. Next, I have a very general statement to rate, and this is kind of your, your more traditional uh, rating scale, and it's a very general statement, I love ice cream, and this is going to be a way to to help make sense out of the group responses. Maybe there's some people who really do not like ice cream. They had to do the same sort, of course. This might be a way to help make more sense uh, out of their responses as well. I very much love ice cream, so I strongly agree. And with that, you see that my responses have been uploaded successfully to the database. And it tells me, thank you. When I click restart, it goes back to the home screen. And back on the app's home screen, you can review your responses to any QSort you have completed by clicking view the QSort you've already completed up here in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, I only have one. If I click on it, 
my uh, rating of the ice cream comes up. I can also, of course, change the text size a bit to be able to uh, see it better. And I can also copy this raw data again to the clipboard if I wanted to save it in a Word file or maybe even send it to somebody uh, via email. Now you'll notice at the bottom that there's an option to check out the other responses to this QSOR. These are responses that other people have made. This option will show an analysis of all of the responses to this QSOR to date. I demonstrate and explain how this analysis works in a separate video. Okay, let me hit exit to go back to the app home screen. Well, I hope this short video has given you a good idea of what a QSort is and how to use my QSort app.